Well, cracking down on youth violence, Prince George's County now one step closer to having a stricter curfew for young people at National Harbor. It comes after a weekend brawl involving dozens of teens. DC News Now's Daniel Hamburg joining us there live tonight. Daniel, the council passed an emergency bill today out of committee. Yeah, Chris, that legislation was actually introduced last week, but today it was changed to an emergency bill after that Saturday night brawl here at National Harbor. The goal is to enact that bill more quickly and hold parents accountable too. National Harbor has constant police presence and a lot of foot traffic, but after dark on the weekends, sometimes hundreds of teens show up. Engaged in full out brawls, um, drinking, smoking, and fighting, uh, and it's, it's unacceptable. That's why Prince George's County Council member Edward Burroughs authored a bill allowing commercial property owners to ask for zones with a more restrictive curfew for young people. I think that should be great, you know, there has to be some type of restrictions in order to keep, you know, people where we need them. Neighbors seem to largely support the move, but some say it's only one piece of the puzzle. I do believe in having a curfew. However, I don't believe in only having a curfew. I believe we should have a blended policy. I believe we should have a plan and not just police. The other major component to the bill is holding parents accountable. They use this as a drop off to drop off their kids and then they leave and no one's supervising them. We have parents who are renting out hotel suites here, thinking that maybe four or five kids from the neighborhood will come here and have fun and we find out that there are 50 kids in the room. After a first time warning, parents would be fined $50 for the first offense, 100 for the second and 250 for the third. We're going to protect our residents and we're going to put it into the madness. Now the bill still has to go for a final vote before the full council that could happen as early as next week. Burroughs says he has assurances from the police chief that the curfew will be enforced. Live at National Harbor, Daniel Hamburg, DC News Now.